A draw wouldn't be the worst result for Celtic. Jackie, it's all to play for tomorrow lunchtime, and if Celtic were to win at Ibrox against the Rangers, then it really would be a statement victory which puts us in pole position to retain our Scottish Premiership title. However, if we can't win, it's essential that we do not lose it. That's the view of former Celtic great Jackie McNamara. Jackie McNamara and Henrik Larsson celebrates with the trophy after winning the 119th Scottish Cup final between Celtic and Dunfermline at Hampton on May 22, 2004. Photo by Lawrence Griffiths slash Giddy Images Jackie knows all about these matches and pressurized title fights into the bargain, having been a vital cog during the Martin O'Neill era at Celtic Park, when both sides were really slick outfits. Part of a side with the likes of Neil Lennon, Chris Sutton, Alan Thompson, and Henrik Larsson, McNamara was a great utility player who was very adaptable and was deployed in various areas by O'Neill during those golden years at Paradise. He was always dependable and often helped plug holes in that great team. Kilgo Furuhashi celebrates during the Scottish Premiership match between Celtic and St. Johnstone at Celtic Park on March 16, 2024. Photo by Ian McNichol slash Giddy Images The player who was signed from Dunfermline Athletic back in 1995 by the Hoops reckons that there are differences to Celtic this term under Brendan Rodgers. Speaking to Sky Sports Scotland's Mark Benstead ahead of this one, he said, Yeah, I think there's subtle differences in terms of how they play. The intensity that Anch had in his team, I think certain teams are obviously sitting in against them, which makes it a bit more difficult. You're not seeing the best in the likes of Kilgo. You see that they're at their best when they're pressing. It sets the tone. It allows the midfield to come up and it creates space for them. And it's difficult for the opposition to get back in. And I think we've seen that in the last few weeks, getting back to that, looking back over some of the goals, he continued, I think when they've got this space to go into, Kilgo isn't getting picked up and he's got his back to goal. He's always better when he's facing the opposition goal and there's space to run into. I think that's been the main difference from this season. He's not scored as many goals because he's maybe got his back to goal more. But as I said, there's been good signs the last weeks that we're starting to see a higher intensity. They're moving the ball quicker. They're creating more opportunities. When asked directly if intensity could be more important this weekend and if Celtic could get any joy in a particular area against Philip Clement's men, he replied, Yeah, I think they've been solid enough. Again, when the manager came in there's been a defensive structure. They've changed little bits there. They're out wider players in and it's kept their fullbacks defending more, but I think there's space there. In between the center backs and fullback, Celtic can hurt them. You know just over the top, if it's Kilgo coming into the space there. And the last thing you want is your center backs away out in the left back area. That's something that I think Brendan will try and implement at the weekend. You know just balls over the top. I know it's a bit different, but you see the strength there. They seem to struggle when their backs are against goal. With the need for the home side to come out and really press the champions, McNamara suggested it could provide Celtic with the chances they need to win the match in Govan. Yeah, they're at home. Celtics won the first two games this season. Their problems haven't been against the Rangers. It's other teams sitting in. But you expect the Rangers being at home with all the supporters to try and dominate the ball, which creates space, and as I said, if Celtic get right in about it from the start and keep that intensity up, which they're capable of doing, I think it's areas they can hurt them. On the decisive nature of the outcome of the fixture for both sides, Jackie said, yeah, it's a really important one because there's not many games left. I think it's imperative Celtic don't lose the game. The Rangers have got the game in hand. There's not many games to go and a draw wouldn't be the worst result for them, Paul Gillespie. Help raise funds for Celtic Youth Academy by playing the Celtic Pools Weekly Lottery and you could win up to £25,000. The lottery is £1 per week and if you join today you will receive a premium boxed Celtic pen and pencil set. More stories slash latest news. A draw wouldn't be the worst result for Celtic, Jackie McNamara. April 6th. 2024, 726. Callum McGregor praised by Celtic teammate Matt O'Reilly. April 6, 2024, 659. 
Atletico Madrid monitoring Fulham midfielder, impact on Matt O'Reilly interest. April 5, 2024, 2159.